a scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish to energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. God damn, that was disorienting. Sorry, I had the feedback <laughs> system in my ear to check my levels and volumes and stuff, and it was echoing really bad. Threw me the crap uh. off where I was going. Okay, anyway, joining me this week, we have Michael. Hello. We have Stuart. You can talk. We have Amy. <laughs> Heyo. And we have a new guest, Eugene. Hello. So, Eugene will be coming on the podcast to do reviews for um, different model kits and stuff like that. So, we'll get to his segment a little bit later on. But first up, we have the main talk topic of today, Back to the Future. So, Back to the Future, officially, Marty McFly arrives tomorrow, about 36 hours from the recording of this podcast. Um, well, American Your time. Your time. No, American time, 36 no. hours. It's I thought he got to, gets here on the 21st. So, yeah, he does. It's the oh, 20th. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Okay. Michael's behind. Well, it's still, ni- it's, still, it's still the 19th here. <laughs> so, okay, so effectively 48 hours from now, then. Um, anyway, so I sat down and watched the movie and wrote down all the different tech that I could see that either did or, in some cases, really didn't make sense. So we're going to sit down and we're going to go through the list. Um, so let's start off at the most obvious one. Uh, do we have a Mr. Fusion power unit? <laughs> I, I wish. don't think so. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I wish we had one. Off the I'll sell you one in one of my model kits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got a ZPM Eugene here. has one, apparently. I've, I've got a ZPM here. I don't need a Mr. Fusion, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Can I have your ZPM? No. My ZPM. Darn. <laughs> so, so um, the, the basic premise for Mr. Fusion is we turn rubbish into power now, um, which we don't. Next one on the list <laughs> is flying cars. Yeah, we we well, do, there's prototypes. Yeah, no. yeah there's prototypes. There's a few that they're, they're effectively planes. Awesome. Yeah. Well, no, but they not. drive like a car and they fit in garages. And I mean, what else do you want? If a garage is the size of an aircraft hangar, yeah, they. That's drive not. That's it, not true. That is not true. There are some that fit in a regular everyday garage. At least American <laughs> ones. Don't know about you Australians. <laughs> yeah, but that's because America does everything bigger. So. Yeah. We'll see a bigger garage. Okay. Our garages what? are quite normal, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Flying okay, cars. You say um, they're normal, we say they're overcompensating, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're leaving that alone. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, I know, which, anyway. I know which ones you mean. They're the, they're the flying cars that have the wings that actually physically fold up into there's the, also the, the side. Kind of, we have there's another vehicle. one. And there's a helicopter looking one, and there's a couple yes. others. That's the Merlin. Yeah, but there's we actually... have heli- we have hover vehicles, but we don't we don't technically fly yet. No, but we be do really... have cars that go in the water. It'd be really bad if they made a flying car called an Icarus. Oh, God. <laughs> no, better sorry, yet, I had to better do yet, the joke. Nimbus, Nimbus, Nimbus! <laughs> oh, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z fans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, on a side note, I took when I watched this, I took note of everything I saw in the backgrounds, in the, even little weird things off to the side, and I tried to sort of jot it all down. I did watch it in fast forward, so I might have missed a few references, but for the most part, <laughs> I think I got everything. So okay. the next thing was flying signs. <gasps> Sounds like a really bad GTA bug. <laughs> <laughs> so no. <laughs> There. Definitely no. Uh, I unless they collect any, I don't even. I don't even. I haven't even seen any prototypes or heard anything about that. Yeah. Okay. How about a sleep-inducing <laughs> stun gun? The doc pulls out this <laughs> thing with glowy lights on the end of its sticky arm things, and shines it in the face of the girlfriend, who promptly passes out 
Marty has a full oh, yeah. spaz as to what the hell's going on. And he's like, oh, don't worry. It just, it forces somebody to go to sleep. Doesn't scream date rape at all. <laughs> We've got the night uh, gun. That's shield. not created yet. Yeah. Well, we've got tasers, but they don't really put people to sleep as much as make them twitch on the ground screaming in agony. <laughs> and then they fall asleep. And I don't think becoming unconscious is the same as falling asleep. <laughs> I, I think that's point more point a result of baton to face as opposed to taser. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so now you're done with that. Another cool thing that a lot of people don't haven't noticed is the number plates on the cars are barcodes. We've got QR codes. You could put. You could say that. Yeah, we could use QR yeah. codes for number plates, but no. no. I mean, no. they're the same kind of style. It's like a barcode kind of thing to identify something. It's like, oh no, my car has been stolen. What's your number plate number? Dash dot 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 dash 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 dot dot dash dot dot. One zero 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 one zero one one zero. Please don't go into binary. I am <laughs> dying B <laughs> class right now. <laughs> so. but- Oh. So, oh, no, was only quoting the, so the robot that's a no, that hasn't drama. been created yet. No, that has not been created yet. It could be worse, it could be barcoding the people. Yeah, well, that's also mm. true. Um, next on the list of things was... Um, now, I don't know if this was a, a, an actual thing or if it's because the doc went to the future. Now, remember, a couple of these things might have come from after... 2015 because the doc says that he has sort of been further forward and traced everything back but we had the, he demonstrated down to the second weather forecasting it's like he, they, it's pouring rain it's like hop out and get changed it's like, it's like no it's pouring rain and he goes just give it five seconds and the rain stops and the clouds go away and the sun comes out it's like and he's like the the weather the weather cha- station's really got it going now but unfortunately the FedEx still sucks, sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> FedEx will always suck. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and straight after that, he mentions he's the doc mentions he's been to a rejuvenation clinic, which for an all natural overhaul, which changed his blood and did all sorts of other, got rid of his wrinkles and all sorts of other things, and added supposedly thirty to forty years to his life. It sounds to me like a sarcophagus. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, well. If you're not familiar with the term sarcophagus, it's from Stargate. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not familiar with the term sarcophagus and didn't get the reference to Stargate, please turn the podcast off and listen to something else. <laughs> no, ignore David. <laughs> <laughs> we have other fans, and we don't only have Stargate fans. <laughs> nah. Come on, they kill not a Stargate it. fan, they're not important. Oh my yeah. god. Yes, they are. <laughs> Every wow. Fan <laughs> Everybody's important except for the head Way of sci-fi. Way to piss off the Star Wars fans on Star Wars Day. <laughs> yeah, jeez, David. Come on. <laughs> so, speaking of it, Suddenly really... our lower viewership just drops completely. We've got like three viewers anyway. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> that said, if we lose one viewer, we've technically had a 30% ratings drop, so there's that. No! No, my friend is listening and she just said she's got to turn this off now and go listen to something else, she guesses. <laughs> hey, hey, if she's listening... Bye, have a great time. Get it, tell her to jump in the chat. and Because we've always got the chat open. We're always keeping an eye on it, so... Well, she's listening to you, so you just told her. Sweet. Done. <laughs> my work here is done. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Aww. Got a lot more to do. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, another, yeah, yeah, another hour or so. It's a lot to get through on this. Okay, yeah. so next up we have, and this I noticed in the background, when they're taking um, the girlfriend out of the car and putting her near the dumpsters, in the background you see giant sort of compressed cr- sort of cubes of rubbish. And in it are normal CDs, but there is also record-sized CDs. They're like ridiculously huge CDs. And I'm looking at it going, wow. <laughs> Wonder why they'd be so big. So yeah, so it's, it, just imagine an old style record, and that's how big the CDs are. And I'm just thinking, if that little CD holds 750 meg, then that would almost be DVD sized. It'd be pretty close because it works out to be about five or six CDs surface area for the big one. So that would almost be a CD DVD D 
I don't know how that actually works. Too many Ds. Yeah. A super CD. A a no, abolish a, all no, laws. A not so mm. compact disc. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. Uh, the next one was um, they were talking about the newspaper and how the sun was went through the legal process in about two hours. And the doc says, yeah, the legal system became really quick after they abolished all lawyers. Oh, lawyers, not laws. So, yeah. I wish. It's, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> On one you hand, do, but you don't. It'd be good. On the other hand, it'd be really, really, really bad. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, another thing, Doc told Marty to pull his pockets out because everyone in the future wears their pants inside out. <laughs> yeah, I don't No, now they just wear them down below their... Yeah, now they just wear them down around, down around their ass, down, down around their ankles. ankles. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, which is, admittedly, is equally as weird, really. Um, oh, bionic implants that short circuit. Um, when they introduce that short circuit specifically, or just bionic impact implants in general? Bionic implants in general, but the ones in um, the the bad guy in the future that right. Oh, I just Biff. watched it. Biff. Biff. Yeah. Biff. The ones that were in Biff, according to Doc, were short were short circuiting. <sighs> so you gotta watch out for him. He's unstable. He's he's bionic implants short circuit. So it's like oh, that's not yeah. compute. That's not compute. So yeah, um, we do have bionic implants though, which is really really cool. And I'd love to get David Hewlett on the podcast and talk to him about bionic implants. It's one of his favorite. That would be amazing. It'd be spectacular. And the remote off chance that you are listening, Mister Hewlett, please join us on the podcast. We'd love to talk to you about bionics. I know that you love it. We love it. We want to talk to you about it. And if also as you always talk about that pad you have, yeah. the tablet. <laughs> yeah, my tablet. I'm gonna leave the tablet alone. Um, so yeah, and you can bring Dragon on if you want. Dragon's cool. I like Dragon. Hmm. Um, Dragon is one of the people he does videos with on YouTube. Speaking of which, check out his YouTube channel. You know you want to. It's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> random free shout out aside. <laughs> let's move on to the next thing that happened, which was the Jaws. <laughs> but if you actually look at the building itself, it says 3D Holographic Cinema. So that also, means... if you look at what was showing, it was Jaws 19. <coughs> yeah. God. Did you guys have, have you guys seen the fake. trailer? No. Have you guys seen the trailer that they released I know they for released Jaws 19? Oh, oh my God! They the actually released a trailer for it, and it talks about all the other Jaws movies. <laughs> it's hysterical. Robot. Uh, 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 I think what was it? Jaws 8 was the was Robot Sharks. <laughs> Jaw. Um. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got it, I've got it. I've got, like, the actual trailer from um, it's... Universal Entertainment. Yes. Um, oh, but, no. like, we've got... No, so we need to actually have somebody go ahead. Stuart, if you want to, read the descriptions of each one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stuart, do the thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Fine. I can do it. I can do it. I'll let you do it, because you're the one who brought it up. Okay, yeah, Michael, you can do it. Ah, uh, hang on. So where's the... Okay. So of course there's Jaws. Yep. Jaws 2. Made you afraid to go back in the water. Jaws 3D was a new dimension in terror. Jaws 4, the revenge. <laughs> it was personal. Jaws 5 was just business. Then Pure Pleasure, <laughs> Cyber Jaws, <laughs> oh. Robo Jaws was Jaws 8. Actually, is it, is it saying the audio, is it? It does. Yeah, it says in the trailer is the audio is, yeah. like, if you watch well, the trailer, it does that, all the... Then I'm just going to play the trailer. Oh, yes, do it, do it. Yeah. Do you need the link? Um, no, no, I've got, it. I've got it up. Oh, please, then just do it. <laughs> okay. I am playing the trailer. <laughs> Jaws made you afraid to go in the water. It sounds like epic Jaws voice guy. Two made you afraid it's to not go playing, at least water. not that I can hear. Jaws 3 Who turned the sound on? A new dimension in terror. <laughs> on the podcast? Jaws 4 The Revenge. It was personal. Then it was just business. Then I can hear it now. I can hear it now. Cyber Jaws made you afraid to log on. 
and Robo Jaws <laughs> made you afraid of robotic sharks. Then Chief Brody's grandson assembled a super team of shark hunters. Jaws 10, it was man versus shark versus all the terrors of the deep. Outer space, then a prequel, and a sequel to the prequel. And then a new era in terror began. Jaws started a family. Battled a Russian shark named Ivan Sharkovsky. Took a bite out of the Big Apple and learned about love from a mysterious stranger. Jaws 18 Origins, the mind-blowing reboot. Now, the oceans are disappearing, and to save their home, the sharks must attack Jaws 19 this time it's really really personal coming soon <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay could I have a credit to you that's pretty fucking good <laughs> yeah, that, that was amazing I, I just <laughs> well played Universal Pictures well played yeah very well I like I like when he learned how to love. <laughs> no, no. These scales of gray. No. Ivan Sharkovsky. Ivan Sharkovsky. But yours about the family. Here's, here's a question for you. Um, since apparently 3D holographic movies are a thing, what movie would you want to watch in 3D holographic form? Ooh. I'd love to watch the original Star Wars. Just the Death Star Transform would be amazing. That would be pretty cool. Um, ooh, that's a tough one. I'd have to say maybe um, maybe Pacific Rim or Pacific Rim or uh, like maybe Contact. Contact would be pretty cool. That would be Riddick really would cool. Be, like a super Riddick, machine. Riddick would be trippy because of the eyes. Like when he uses oh, his eye, eye powers, that'd be so trippy. Oh yeah. I would trivia. Yeah. I don't know. Too many to choose from. Yeah. I wouldn't mind Jurassic Park. Oh uh, God. Jurassic Park. Oh Lord. I was thinking about Baymax. <laughs> um, Big Hero Six. Big Hero Six. That'd be pretty Baymax. cool. Baymax. <laughs> yeah. Well, effectively, it is the Baymax movie. Yeah. Ooh, Serenity would be good. Serenity would be pretty good. That would be good. So, yeah. Um. How about the new Star Trek movies? Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> I love that everyone's just like quiet. <laughs> I mean, so I mean, like, if, I, I, if, I threw if, out the line, I'm sitting there waiting for someone to buy it and nothing happened. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> if, if, I, if I could watch them all, if I could watch multiple things, um, not just one thing, then I would totally watch the Star Trek movies in 3D in that as well. But if I had to choose something, like I had to choose one or two, it, those wouldn't even top the list. Yeah. When you get close, I mean. But I say, if, if yep, EJ was here, he would have taken the bait. Oh, he would have taken the bait. He would have <laughs> hook line at Sinker and run to the moon with it. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, actually, actually, of course. The Apollo 11 launch. Ability. The Apollo 11 Ooh. launch in holographic. That would be spectacular. If I was going to watch uh, a Star Trek film, um, I'm in, th in that, I think I'd go for either Nemesis, First Contact, or Star Trek Four. Yeah. Agreed. Did I just watch all the Doctor Who openings? That'd be trippy enough as it is. <laughs> you, you, you'd walk out of it going, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnoto. <-burn. laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... Another th move, moving on to my long, long list of things. Um, the next thing that it showed <coughs> was a fully automated um, petrol station for cars. You cut, drive the car in, and this robot hand fills your car up, and then you drive out. So basically, I robotic New Jersey gas stations. Yeah, I don't think that that's too far away, to be honest. Yeah, over here it's at least twenty years away. <laughs> well, over here, but. Mean... But in like other countries, that can't be like you say, like Japan, China. Probably Japan fucking already has something like that by now. That yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Um, okay, the the next sort of, and this was a fairly big thing um, in AI that was skipped over was the AI that was the waitresses in the that the scarily bar. looked like Michael Jackson. No, it was <laughs> Michael Jackson. It was, it, was, it was Michael Jackson was one of them, and there was two other ones that showed, but I honestly don't know who they were. So, do we keep that AI away from kids, or...? Well, considering it's an 80s-themed thing, I'm assuming that AI 
and Stuart, I'm leaving that alone. I'm assuming that AI, <laughs> um, considering how glitchy it was, it like got halfway through a sentence and 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 then kept <laughs> going. It's like the whole thing was programmed. This weird. You know, it'd be stuff. really funny for Tickler John. It's like it's time. It's like no, just stop. I saw we watched Yu-Gi-Oh recently. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so, and it also had tables that dispense drinks. So you order your thing and it spits it up through the middle of the table. Mm, that shouldn't be too far right away if you really think about it. Well, it was sort of like one of those vending drink vending machines, but it spits it up through the table instead. Yeah, but you think about it. That technically wouldn't be too far away. No, especially with... um. There's uh, certain sushi places that you order um, off iPads and they bring everything to you, so... Yeah. Something like that can't be too far away. Exactly. And Coco and, Coke and them now have those uh, vending machines that you can get a hundred different soft drinks out of yep. one machine. Yep. Oh, Lord. Do you not have those in Australia? No. No. So, yeah, basically, See, we've got a it will case have... Of not wanting diabetes. <laughs> 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 no, but it's it's got literally over a hundred different choices, like Eugene said. It's got all the different flavors for Fanta. It's got all the different flavors for Coke. All different flavors for ginger ale, for Sprite, for Seven Up, or whatever. Fla- it's ridiculous. People flavored water. Yeah. Flavored water. Yeah. Flavored sugar water. Don't forget yes. the sugar. <laughs> well, that's part well, of the thing. Coca Cola was the first company to work out how to make a, a soft drink that was 140% sugar. <laughs> well, they've also got the uh, the sugar free stuff, too. Yeah, the sugar free stuff true. just bad for you. Anyway. Um, okay, then we have the old arcade machine. The kids do a thing and make the arcade machine come back to life, which isn't a setup for the third Back to the Future movie in the Wild West at all. Um, and the Marty gets the gun and shoots the guys, and the kids look at him and go, that was, you've got to play with your hands? That's like a baby's <laughs> toy. And then they walk off. <laughs> and then I was thinking, we've already got, we technically we've got the Kinect. You don't need a controller for Kinect. Nope. So, yeah, that's true. I mean, even before the Kinect, I mean, I remember, God, when I was in 6th, Fifth or sixth grade. So two years so ago. So like, no, a, a, a. <laughs> Look, I know you're older. I know you're pretty old, David. But um, <laughs> I'm not that why, young. Dave, we use controllers, <laughs> but, damn it, and we loved it. But, <laughs> hey, no, I used I'm to have fucking, a, I used to have huh? a pong machine. I've still got a pong machine. Yeah, I collect that's old still, consoles. That's, that's not that's not the hands free yeah, kind yeah, of thing. It's called an Xbox One. Oh hell. <laughs> No, but Hello. seriously, like, what, 10 years ago, <laughs> I guess it would be, sorry, ten or, uh, 9 or 10 years ago, I remember going over to my friend's house in my neighborhood, he had this, uh, back then he had this kind of connect like game, basically, with a camera, and you would try to hit the fireworks, you know. Is that PlayStation Play? I think that was PlayStation I don't think, Play. I don't think it was a PlayStation. I, was, I'm pretty sure. Like a play, there's, a, there's a PlayStation 2 system that was like that. Really? It, was an ex- it yeah, might have been an yeah. Xbox system that was like that as well. No, no, it was PlayStation. Um, it's called PlayStation Play. Yeah. Okay, well, that must be it, because that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, it was the incredibly it, it came horrible. Up, yeah, it, it, it was the predecessor to the Wii. The Wii made everything a lot smoother. Yeah. But the Wii didn't have hands-free kind of thing. It does. You have the, nunch- the nunchuck. Yes, but it's not the same. The other one, the other one I'm talking about was literally just your hands. You didn't have any controller or anything. That sounds like the Xbox 360 Connect. Yeah. No, this is this was years before the Connect. Um, oh, you realize the Connect's been out for ten years, right? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Xbox One's been out for two years. I know the Xbox One's been out for two years. How long? Really, the Connect's been out for ten years? Out yeah, for... Connect here came out like when it when the 360 first came out. Yeah. I was just expensive must... as dicks, so and no one wanted it. That must have been that must have been at the very beginning then, because I, you know, I never said that I, uh, I never did say that um, I was an expert with game systems. Only sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost about to suggest, did you, were you playing on a power glove? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, my parents didn't give me game systems back then. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, 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 let's 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 move on to the next thing. 
um, the the bully dickheads come in and um, they call him chicken and the guy leans over and he presses a button on the front of his shirt which goes <laughs> do we have t-shirts that <laughs> oh, well, noises that. now yes we do excellent we have a check we finally have something Woo. the movie got one thing right <laughs> come on oh, you've got shirts that actually play music for goodness sake yeah fair point um, well, so well, if if the Cubs win the World Series, well, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That's like almost the bottom of the list, <laughs> I think. Actually, no, the Cubs is like four things down from here. It's only about halfway down the list. So much more to go. Um, so then you see Biff pull out a baseball bat, which promptly extends like telescopes out. So, um, no, we, we have, have like that. sticks that do that. We don't have like baseball bats. We've got batons that do that. The cops have sticks that they go. And it sort of yeah. sticks out. So that's a it's that's a, a sort of one of the next... just not a baseball bat. Yeah, but it, considering he tries to use it to beat the crap out of a guy, it's the same difference. <laughs> <laughs> um, next thing on the list is hoverboards. Nope. Now this is cl- uh, it's I, yeah, I'm their, their version. No, but there are definitely prototypes. Yeah, you've got a few which are con jobs, like the Hendo hoverboard is pure BS. But there are it, some that are pretty I, freaking cool. The question is, what do you define as a hoverboard? Is it the kind of board they had in the movie, or is it any kind of board that hovers? Because there are there have been multiple different variations of boards that they've made, that people have made on their own time, that actually will hover with somebody well, on saying, it. However, it's not the same have... kind of style. Yeah, I also yeah. said we don't have the movie version yet, but there are definitely boards that do hover above the ground and go forward and backwards and stuff. And are self-propelled. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so most I, I'd of them say, work without a tether, which is even cooler. Yeah, I'd say that really can't be too far off either. I'd yeah. say five, ten years. Okay. This well, one I gotta... be said. The word bojo. <laughs> just, just the word bojo. 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 So, so hoverboards don't work on water, you bojo. Joe. It's like, what the... F- <laughs> Remember, this was in the 80s, so they still had 80s lingo. I know, and that was sort of like a mu- muddled version of 80s lingo, but still. That'd be a no. Yeah, that'd be... Well, we do, have, we do have quite a few words that are like that nowadays. Lol. That's we'll leave that one alone. As an example, we've got lots of really, really weird... "Quote unquote words." Um, Timbles. OTP. Okay, now this is actually really, really cool. This is the Cubs win the World Series against Miami. Back in the eighties, there was no Miami baseball team, if I remember correctly. And now there is. <laughs> I read that and the Cubs somewhere. are, and, and the Cubs are in the playoffs, so it's. It could actually happen as well. That would be absolutely spectacularly hilarious. No, if, no seriously, if, if I was the other baseball teams, I would let them win. <laughs> <laughs> just because of the move. Just because of Back to the Future. No yeah, but, then, no yeah, but then, all the, then all the crazy people would come out and all the crazy conspiracy people would come out. Oh, they're going to come out anyway. Have you seen what they've done with that whole planet? Yeah, true. Collision? space station thing that they're going on about. We'll cover that in the news. We'll cover that in the news. We'll cover that a bit later. Plenty of time to get to that. Bitch about how stupid people are later. Um, <laughs> got half an hour. Yeah, plenty of time. See, plenty of time. Um, the next thing was, when he bought the almanac, the lady said this was made before they invented dust-repellent paper. So, dust-repellent paper, apparently a thing. Not yet. Yeah, not yet, but back in that time. Not surprised. I, I don't think there will be dust repellent paper ever because there's not a particularly good reason, I think. However, it could be done, I'm sure. Well, dust repellent paper, you could call that a, a file on a computer. Yeah, uh, I don't. No I'm paper. not going to. I wouldn't go that far. That, there's not no paper, paper exactly. that. Hey, I'm stretching this thing a little. Give or take a little. A little. Give or Just take, a little? Give or take a lot. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, suspended animation kennels for your pets when you go away. <laughs> I forgot about that one. No. He put he put his dog in a suspended animation kennel. Um, trash can robot. There's a little trash can robot running around. Nope. Oh. 
Um, oh, this is an interesting one. No door handles. You need to use a thumbprint scanner to open the doors. Yeah, there is some of them. Yeah, there is. Um, but just those doors regular. still have handles. Yeah, but they may be just for decoration. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, the house itself has its own personalised AI. Nope. Well, actually, actually, it probably actually, houses. well, think about this. I mean, have you guys seen the advertisements? Now, it's not to the same extent, but for the Amazon, uh, the Amazon thing, the what's it called, the smart fo- the we smart home thing. Okay, I've well, have you? For it. Yes, and that's uh, and that's not like integrated into the house, but it is of a sort of a house thing. Oh, wait, isn't it that button thing that if you're running low on something, you hit it and it just orders a ton of it? No. This is one, like, it, like the commercial is him asking, saying, Alexa, tell me the news, and it starts talking about Pluto and New Horizon, and he goes, like, Alexa, how far is Pluto? Uh, Alexa, play my something soundtrack or whatever. So it's sort of like a Cortana or Siri type thing. Yeah, but a little bit more focused on, like... Okay. Yeah. You know, not just asking random stuff to find it funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, so a little detail I just happened to notice. Cortana, where can I hide my dead body? Yeah. <laughs> um, the cop's hats in Back to the Future had a digital text display scroll. Yes. Them, which was sort of cool. What, um, it said police? Yeah, oh, it said a couple of things. I, can't remember. I wasn't paying enough attention to see what it said, but I know it said something more than police. Anyway, I think it might have said, like, protect and serve or something like that. Um, or it, maybe it said, now owned by... <laughs> Disney. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, it's just the way things are going. Yeah. <laughs> or Marvel. Well, no, Marvel is Disney. Never mind. <laughs> so, um, and then we've got... And this was really cool. A, a screen that rolls down over your windows and projects a view that is substantially better than the view that you normally have. Also known as the scenery channel. That would well, be cool. Get rid of that... all of the windows and put flat screen TVs mounted in the wall that look like windows, and then you can make yourself think that you're on the fucking moon. <laughs> I I think do, does that not exist? I'm pretty sure that does exist somewhere. I could have sworn yeah. I mean I've seen it in sci-fi Probably multiple times, but I'm pretty Japan. sure I've seen it in real life. Yeah, that'd be yeah, Japan. Japan. Yeah. Well, they do now have LED um, displays that you can sort of put on curved surfaces, so. It wouldn't surprise me if they made one that could sort of roll or something and have it like a rolling blind. But yeah, seriously, if I owned a house, I would not have windows. I would have TVs mounted in the walls and it would make it look like I'm on the goddamn moon. Every time I look out a window, I would just see space, craters, uh, that sort of stuff. What about, what the about distance, the natural... You would see the earth slowly... What about your natural sunlight, way. though? What about your natural sunlight, though, David? You're going to be like... <laughs> my, my unit is known as the Bax Cave for a reason. <laughs> I don't need no natural light. <laughs> That's what solar panels are for. <laughs> hey, well, let's move on. Uh, food rehydrators. Um, the, the grandmother brings in this tiny little pizza about... Well, smaller than a CD. Puts it in a food rehydrator and goes... Rehydration level four, please. <laughs> and then, like three seconds later, this thing is a full-on sized pizza, pizza steaming and everything. So, also, did you notice yeah. the product placement? Or did you notice the product placement? What it said? Yeah, Pizza Hut. <laughs> even even now, there's still pizza, even in the future, there's still going to be Pizza Hut. Yeah. So yeah. And there is. Um, also. In the future, thumbprints pay for things. So instead of a Once credit again, card I don't or anything think... like that, you just press your thumb onto something and it automatically debits your account. Once again, don't think that's too far away either. Yeah, I don't either. I don't want that. Like to maybe be maybe have some kind of chip in your thumb. Too easy to hack. Too easy. Yeah, to just hack. hack off the thumb. I don't even want chips in my in credit cards. I don't want a chip in my thumb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, somebody will just chop off your thumb. Well, it's not even that. It's just, yeah, he just need it. Your thumb goes near a thing and <laughs> beep, you're now debited $300 yeah, you've got two for thumbs. somebody else. <laughs> He's got two thumbs. He doesn't need both. Uh, yeah, exactly. 
Okay. You could just have a stump. <laughs> a veggie okay. garden was in the roof. Because they called for they called for vegetables. Oh yeah. And the thing went beep down out of the roof cavity. But considering well, I mean, that house had an upstairs area, makes you wonder what was above the kitchen. Was greenhouse. Full on greenery or <laughs> yeah, greenhouse. Or what? Well, yeah, I mean, if, veggie. If there is a, there is a greenhouse up there. What other plants are they growing? After all, Maybe, it's illegal uh, now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not everywhere. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's only it's illegal over here. Not okay. Um, okay. Big but, screen TV that can show six shows. Yeah, they showed a big oh, screen God, TV. Oh, I, I love that. Marty McFly's kid walks in and goes, "I want to see this channel, this channel, this channel, this channel, this this channel, this channel," and it puts all six of them up on the screen at once, and he sits in a lounge chair like. Three foot away from it, and just like staring at it. It's like, well, well, totally. How are you meant to be able to understand what's being said watching six channel things at once? I, I could do two shows at once. It's not hmm. easy, but I can. Six would be hey, a nightmare. David. What? Apparently, we can pay for things using our thumb already. Uh. No. Using the Galaxy, using the Galaxy S5. Apparently, you can. Um. Pay using your thumb already. No, I'm not gonna do yep. it. Yep. No, 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 no. I'm, yep. saying I'm yep. not gonna do it. Okay, the, well, anyway, the, so the, my the, friend posted the, the link in the, uh, the chat. The technology is so simple to, to hack. You just. The Mythbusters did it, ping, what, five, ten years ago now? They just photocopied someone's thumbprint and beep, it worked. And if you can, point, you can pay for the security apps companies like in the iTunes. Glass. <laughs> uh, yeah, right now you can pay for apps and music on Apple's iTunes store using the Galaxy S5. Ah, sweet. Oh, hello, Amy. Other Amy. <laughs> um, welcome to the chat room. You uh, just my noticed friend. her. That's oh, my friend. She's I saw posting. Amy, saw Amy post something before, but I thought it was you. So. <laughs> <laughs> what you having two Amys? Two many Amys. <laughs> <laughs> But now, hey, now we've got, now we can dis, now one of them's disposable. Excellent. <laughs> None of us are disposable. I wonder we'll if something might world. <laughs> yeah, it's too much paperwork. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's also, and this was just a really quick offshoot, it looked like a quadcopter or equivalent walking a dog. When you see Marty McFly outside, you see a dog go past, and it looked like a quadcopter sized mini drone connected to the lead and the dog's just happily wandering along with this thing behind it well drones are com are pr fairly common now yeah. and amazon's talking about making a delivery drone so yeah that's probably not too far off yeah but can you, if the dog sees something exciting it runs what chance in hell does a drone have of stopping it not much <laughs> it depends on the drone yeah, maybe if it's one of the ones they could just sort of hover above it and pick it up off the ground. Maybe if it's a chihuahua. Yeah, it's a chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Good riddance, too. And when you see the old guy steal the car, he crashes into some bins and stuff. And I noticed that all of the rubbish, even the rubbish earlier on, it's all being cubed and bailed. So the only conclusion from that is somewhere in these houses is a garbage cuber. Cubes the garbage. It's eleven everywhere. Yeah. Um, then we skip back into the kitchen. They were eating their pizza, and they had a hollow band type head display thing, where um, it was sort of these glasses they put on, and from the outside you can't see through them, but from the inside they were acting like they could see things um, and stuff. So. Uh, it's sort of like a hollow bland, like a, almost like a what's it called? Ah, oh, forgotten its name now. Ah, oh, that's gonna annoy me. Oculus Rift, almost like an Oculus Rift. There we go. I remembered. Ugh. Took me a minute, but I got it. The Nerve Gear. Um, but yeah, but substantially more compact than what the <laughs> Oculus is. Um, next up was video phone calls. Got them. Ah, oh, totally exists. Oh yeah, totally exists. So that is telepresence. Yeah. And the, the, this last one, I'm only I only added because it was one of those things that I was like, what the hell? Why do they still what? And it was fax machines, but not just one fax machine. There was fax machines fucking everywhere. 
<laughs> hey, people still use fax machines nowadays. Yeah, so do people still use Morse code. It doesn't mean it's a good idea. <laughs> Plenty of people use fax machines, though. A lot of businesses use them still. Homes. I mean, my mom has one here in the house. I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, last but not fax machines still might... exist in the States, at least. Yeah, yeah they still um, exist here. I... We use them at my job. We, so we, use a, we use a fancy thing at my job called email. We do well, fax we have, ha, ha, ha. We, have, we have the fax machines set up at my job where or when the fax comes in, a lot of them go into an email account, but we still have the fax machine. Seems redundant. Anyway, um, last, last little bit and piece. I actually left this separately because it was clothing. And, um, because some of the, the properties of the clothes were hilarious. So, you've got the self-tying shoes. So you put the shoes on and it automatically does the laces up for you. I wish. Does God, that I sound wish. like a really good way to crush one's own foot by setting the, sen the settings a bit too high? Yeah. yeah. Put, put, put your, your younger brother's shoes on by mistake. Give <laughs> <laughs> Short, short, so someone hacks into your shoes, which, come on. If it's electronic, it's hackable. <laughs> running at the Olympics. I could just, no, no, running, just, on, running, on, running along, you've done the marathon, you're about 20 meters away from the end. Someone goes, yeah, I don't want him to win the race. Tightens the shoes, falls on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I've got an even, be no, no, even better one. Yeah. Middle of, middle of, a, of a school exam. Everything's quiet. You just randomly tighten a random person's shoe. It's like, ah! <laughs> The perfect way to do it. Oh, what we should do is we should do a um. Well, you a do Doctor it to one Who. We do it to one of the people walking or while the teachers walking okay. around. Okay. Shall we continue we on? We should do a Doctor Who crossover <laughs> where we see the um, the Matt Smith Doctor point his sonic screwdriver and activate it, and then show the the shoes tightening. <laughs> and then show <sighs> that Smith sort of sort of with this big grin on his face. That would be funny. Anyway, um. Self-adjusting jackets. Yeah, the, the jacket thing that he wore. Self-adjusting in size. And it's also got a built-in dryer. And voice system. So he talks to you, like Stephen Hawking. That was high to do baggy. Uh, 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 just... Go. Just go. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, it, that's sort of how it talks, though. It talks very sort of digital, electronic. It doesn't sound like Stephen Hawking, but it's got that same sort of voice. Um... Okay. Yeah, not, and yes, Nike. Uh, Amy uh, just posted a link in the chat saying that Nike is selling um, 30th oh, anniversary the, yeah. shoes. Yeah, the, the Martin McFly shoes. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, they're like expensive as dicks. <laughs> Ridiculously expensive. <coughs> um, okay, another piece of fashion advice that you, piece of fashion you can't go anywhere without is your binoculars. That <laughs> the doc has, which has. Facial recognition, distance scanning, um, speed calculation, all built into this one handy little HUD. <laughs> so, there's that. Those were, that was pretty cool. We don't really have anything like that beyond radar guns. Um, the, one of the girls that was hanging with Biff had um, something which is fairly common now, but it looked very, very 80s. was finger rings with claws sticking up off it. Like, yes, they're extremely popular now. Yeah, so they got something right. They got another thing right. Oh, and an upside down hovery thing to fix your back when you hurt your back. Because Marty McFly's dad was through his back out playing golf. So, yeah. It's for a back scratcher? It was really weird. Oh well. Do we want to do news or do we want to do the other thing first? Um, model kits. We'll do the model kits first. So you are okay. up. Okay. Um, for this new section, each week I'm going to cover something new or something that's already on the market that you might have missed. This week's section or session, I'm going to cover the Star Trek 1 350th scale USS Enterprise uh, by round two. This kit's been on the market now about a year or two, and if you've missed it, you've missed a fantastic kit. 
almost three feet long. It has fantastic detail. Um, we, have, we have we have a number a three foot long enterprise. Holy yes. Crapsticles. <laughs> yes. Crapsticles. We have a number of pi- pictures that we will be posting with this podcast. That um, I show you what the box art looks like, and this is a very large box. Uh, one of the pictures I show you the bridge that is included with this kit. And it is about the size of an American quarter. That when you put build the kit, you'll be able to peer down inside and see see the bridge. That's really cool. <laughs> um, since the kit has been on the market for a little bit, uh, one of the items that has been discontinued is they had a an add-on set so you could build the first and second pilot pilot. And I show you what was included with that pack but it's no longer available. Uh, One of the complaints some people have made is round two chose to put grid lines in on the model because there's been this massive debate, should grid lines be there, should they not be there? Well, round two, when they came out with this, they put them there, but they are subtle. And you can, I got a very nice clear picture that you can see that yes they are there but they are not deep and they are nothing like the old kits one of the nice features they did was all the clear parts that are included you have the option with this kit to build it with clear windows with uh, smoke tinted windows or with opaque white windows and there's parts for all three included with it. Now, I had briefly mentioned about the, the pilot add-on set, but there's a number of other add-on sets they made available. There is a photo watch set. There is a weathering decal set. There is an alternate ship's registry, which includes decals to do the mirror universe and there is a plug and play light lighting set now the lighting set the um, photo etch and the weathering decals are also available in a box set that you can buy all of them together which will save you a little bit of money how much does this um, cost roughly the Enterprise itself runs either $150 or $160. That's not bad. The light rig is about 10 bucks more than the kit. The other add-on packs run about 30 bucks a piece. The three-pack is suggested retail of about $230. Fair enough. Um, the lighting set, some of the nice things they include with it is a transparent bridge so that you can mask it off and then have everything on the bridge lit up when you peer down inside. It also includes a clear tr- a clear shuttle base so you can light that up and see the shuttlecraft inside. That'd be cool. There, there's also tinted pieces so that when you build the warp nacelles you can have it, the tinted parts will allow, allow it to light up the correct colors, and it includes a motor and everything, so the warp nacelles will spin when you when you assemble it and put it all together. Nice. The, I know what you did. This is a very yeah. this is a very nice kit. You w- pr- probably will not find it at the big box craft and hobby shops you will have to check with your local hobby stores um, now some of the smaller hobby shops may not carry it but they they'll be more than happy to order it for you um, I, I run a small hobby shop I can't afford carrying these but I'm more than willing to order them for customers um, but that's that's this week's kit and it's brought to you by your hobby shop. What's your hobby shop called? With Perry County Hobbies in central Pennsylvania. Sweet. Sweet. 
that's this week's kit. That's yeah. I guess that means that that actually sounds really cool. It does. It's a three foot long enterprise <laughs> that blows. It's only about the same price as my ZPM. <laughs> Very tempting. All right, that's how cheap ZPMs use. are. <laughs> oh, ZPMs are yeah, ZPMs are not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> CPMs are not cheap. That must be like 300 bucks American. And considering how bad the Australian dollar is, you can get an idea of how expensive that was. Yeah, that's about 500. <laughs> yeah, give or take. So, yeah. Anyway, that, that, I got that a little while ago, so. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um, moving on to the news. Oh, where do we start? I, I think Michael can start. Michael, do you want to announce yeah. some cancellations and. The new thing that's starting up that you mentioned. Yes, sure. Um, so this week, our cancellation of the week from the Sci Fi Channel would happen to be. <laughs> I Can mean... we please just make that a regular segment? Oh, we, yeah, we, we really need to. should. We should. Um, the cancellation, I guess, I guess. I guess if we're gonna go over cancellation of the week. I mean, we got kind of got two, even though one's not really sci-fi, at least not in my opinion. No, got it's Dominion. Not sci-fi. It's, it's, it has technology, so I'll, I'll. That's the only reason I'm gonna mention it now. Um, Dominion's been canceled, and so has Defiance, which oh. is, um, which while I have very behind in Defiance, it yeah, I had a good following, and so the Sci-Fi Channel did invest a lot of money into it, and it was a big flagship enterprise. So it's a, it's it's it sucks to see it go. Um, on the other hand, on the bright side, now, two, two seconds, we have... Two seconds. Um, just want to say really yeah. quickly, we reviewed um, Defiance a couple of podcasts ago when um, it finished its run, and I remember saying then that if this is where the show ends um, at the end of that season, it's ended on a good point. So did I it guess, really? Yeah, I am glad that it did end on a relatively decent point. It's not a massive cliffhanger. Um, it could be viewed as a bookend. And yeah, I was, I was. I am quite pleased. If if it ended where it did, I am quite pleased with how it ended. It could have ended in well. It's worse ending places. where it did, so. so. Yeah. All right. Anyway, yes, and now on to the good news. Yes, the good news, and this is this could end up being some very spectacular news for our sci-fi community here. Um, I will give credit where credit is due. Thanks to Nancy uh, from the Facebook group Sci-Fi Fandom, uh, fantastic group. People should join it if you aren't part of it already. Um, she posted about a new ch- TV channel, quote unquote. I, yeah, I'm not sure how much it's going to be on TV, but it will be apparently on TV at some, in some manner. Uh, called Comet, uh, Comet TV, and basically Comet, and you can look, you can learn about it if you go to CometTV.com. Um, Comet is going to be a new television channel dedicated to sci-fi entertainment. Basically doing 24-7 science fiction with with some fantasy, but it will be devoted to science fiction and fantasy. Um, mostly science fiction, as far as I can tell. It will. It is uh, hosted by MGM and... What was the other... Uh, co- well, oh, and Sinclair Universal. Broadcast Group. Universal. Universal. Is that it? No. I no 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 Sinclair Broadcast Group um, and MGM and MGM will be airing a lot of their stuff on it, including Terminator, um, uh, Species, okay. uh, uh, Moonraker, and then they're going to be doing all the various Stargate series, and it's going to expand from there. But it's going to be starting SG One, Stargate Atlantis, and Stargate Universe all from the first episode, and it uh, it airs on October thirty first. And they have a countdown to the launch date. Nice. Could be exactly what we've been waiting for. Very nice. It sounds like Sci-Fi Channel, Space Channel, have both finally got a decent competitor on the field. That said, Sci-Fi Channel and Space. It said it's more Forgot of a about the Sci-Fi bit. I was going to say, it's more of a competitor to Space than Sci-Fi, because Sci-Fi doesn't Sci-Fi anymore. Anyway. Well, they have, they have Killjoys and Dark Matter. Yeah, okay, credit where credit's due. And Expanse, and Expanse is coming out, and then Childhood's End, and all that stuff. Okay, anyway, onwards with the news. You mean you don't like story. watching wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I, I guess we got to this out with the big news of the day. Yep. Tickets are live for Force Awakens. Yes, I have mine. I got mine. I don't have mine. Uh, <laughs> tickets went live in Australia at event cinemas about two hours ago. 
Yeah. My cinema near, closest to me is, put it this way, we're the Bogan end of town. We're the, the I guess, the equivalent of Bogan in America would be Redneck um, end of town. Uh. So there's not much in the way of Star Wars fans down this way. In two hours, the cinema was half sold out. Yeah. Half sold out. Half sold out. In that doesn't have the same impact as sold out. Yeah. Why don't you factor in the fact that it's the Bogan end of town and almost no one here likes Star Wars and the cinema has, like, well, that, that's a personal. Pro- that's a personal problem. So, <laughs> anyway, the the busiest cinema sold out almost instantly. Yeah, I got nice. um, I got mine um at Chermside, which is one of the major cinemas. Yeah, I got midnight screening. So, yeah. <laughs> and um, I didn't know what time it was because they didn't have it up last night. I woke up at six fifty-five a.m. Looked at my phone. Event cinemas Chermside tickets go and sell at seven a.m. Fuck! Run to my computer. Turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. Turn on, on. I'm very tempted to get it, but I just I don't know if See, I Michael, should go if ahead you were and do smart, it. Smart, you should fly out here, and then you can watch it a day before everybody you know. And you're right, gonna pay no. for my uh for my <laughs> flight for my flight costs, and I'm gonna stay at your house, right? You can stay at my house. I don't know about the other half. There's, there's, there's a broke, broken <laughs> static. I, I, I missed that. <laughs> I mean, do we, do we, do we, do, let me, let me ask it this way. Do we have it in our budget for Save Sci-Fi to fly me out there? <laughs> Hell no. We have a budget. Okay. Anyway, Stuart. We do, go. but it's not for that purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stuart, go. You have very little time. Yeah, um, CW has released the official um, synopsis for Haunted, which is the um, fifth episode of Arrow's fourth season, and that's the episode that has, uh, Matt Ryan um, coming back as Constantine. Nice. Which Jerry lot... Ryan was Jerry Ryan was in last week's Arrow. Yep, she, yep, she was. She was. Uh, oh, I gotta watch that then. Friend of the Queen family, running for mayor. Yeah. And Michael Ironside will be in this week's Flash. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of really awesome um, sci-fi guests they're using for Arrow. And Star Flash. Wars dropped three tre- teasers. Yep, Star Wars dropped three different teasers, uh, three little mini teasers leading up to the trailer, which is dropping sometime today. Yep. Whatever the hell the halftime on Monday Night Football is. Yep, anyway, keep going. Go, go, go. Um, the poster came out, and it looks gorgeous. There's a freaking planet destroyer. <laughs> yes. Have they not learned? Looks- <laughs> Which scarily looks like the, um a death a certain other circular round thing called the Death Star, but there is one um notable absence on the poster. There is no Luke Skywalker. Was Leia there? Yeah, Leia, Leia is there. Leia is there. She's still behind Han, but there is no Luke on uh. the poster at all. At all. Ooh. Which makes me think. Um, there was a fan theory going around that Luke was in exile, like like he permitted himself, like Obi Wan and Yoda. Yeah. So I think that's what well, that wouldn't that's make any sense leading towards. He had already got another Jedi trained. Uh, there's a uh, there's a possible th- there's another theory that um Luke was making the Jedi Order and he created the Knights of Ren, and the Knights of Ren turned on him. Oh. Hence why he went into exile. There's still a lot that's that we don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. hopefully this trailer tonight will reveal some stuff. Yeah. Yes. Can't wait for that. Um, no, nobility. Nobility are having their world premiere at um at Stanley's Kamikaze. Yes, and we we, we can't yes. tell you enough to get there. Like seriously, seriously sell your get house, there. sell your kids, <laughs> sell everything you own, and go and watch that. Or possibly yeah, no, come we, to my we, panel at UMBC to get a wish, pre a preview. We wish we could get there. Like we full on wish we could get yeah. there for it. Yeah, I'd swim there, but my arms aren't that good. Anyway, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a uh, a yeah. like first like ten minutes or whatever of the film to show at my convention coming up at UMBC. Yeah. Anyway, we're literally running out of time. So you, Stuart, you've got ten seconds. Oh. <laughs> Uh, continue, so I'll say thank you. The, um, the stars of Kingdom um, leave a special message for the show's viewers. Ah, done. News done. <laughs> Podcast done. Woohoo! Okay, bye all. <laughs> okay, bye. Guys next week. And we bye. will be covering... I honestly have no idea what we'll be covering. But keep an eye on facebook.com slash save sci-fi to... We'll figure something out. Yeah, we figure something out. Normally do. Are we having an after show? Uh, no. No after show this week. Okay. 
Um, so we'll catch you guys next week. Keep an eye on SafeSciFi.com and make sure you subscribe to us on iTunes and YouTubes and all the other different places this podcast goes. So see ya. Have fun. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Everyone. Bye.